al regista e a Zoe um, quanto abbiamo, abbiamo capito che è molto piacevole lavorare con Gina, ma quanto è difficile cioè quanto, quanto è pazzo sul set Gina <laughs> well, oh, it's, extremely, it's extremely difficult, and I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about it in great depth. It's, it's really tough, uh, because he's just unpredictable, uh, he's a tyrant, uh, he's cruel, I'm kidding, no, it, it, Jim, it's funny, everyone asks that question Everybody all the time, asks that. and, and, there's an image that maybe they think we keep Jim in a cage and, and I yell, action, and we open the cage and he runs out and, and, and does something and then we have to catch him and put him in back in, but I don't think that's the case. Do you think that's the case? No, I actually think, you know, everybody keeps um, asking if it's difficult to work with Jim and I just think he's such a great actor and so generous and warm and kind that it makes all of our jobs so much easier and and he always keeps the reality of the situation so it, for me it, it made my job like I mean you're, you're only so good as the actors that you work with and, and I'm just so lucky to be able to work with, with Jim. I, I love the idea from the beginning uh, when I first heard the idea of Yes Man and read the script with Jim at the middle of it it just kind of made sense because I found Jim to be uh, a yes man in his real life to, and by that I mean someone who just sort of if he does something, he leaps into it and just sort of has a real passion for life. And, you know, as the director, that's the kind of actor that you want. Someone who's just there and uh, is willing to try anything. And we threw a lot of things at both Jim and Zoe in this movie that they had to do. Um, it was like we were making the movie, but we were also sort of, you know, having a night classes of how to ride a scooter or a motorcycle or play guitar or jump off a bridge. So, you know, they were really put through their paces, and it takes a certain kind of actor to, to leap into that. Grazie. Riccardo Trombetta di Steel, eh, Miss Universal. Una domanda per tutti e tre, eh, velocissima visto che penso di essere, di essere l'ultima domanda. Sì, I prossimi progetti, eh, se dramma o commedia per Jim Carrey, commedia ancora per Peyton Reed e cosa per Zoe. Grazie. Since Yes Man, I did a, 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 a version, a classic version of the Christmas Carol with Bob Zemeckis, uh, and uh, starring uh, myself and Gary Oldman. We play a lot of the different parts of, uh, of uh, Scrooge and Marley and all those, the ghosts and everything. Uh, and it's a motion capture film, and it's going to be really exciting because I think they've really got the, uh, the uh, technology down now, and uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that 3D adventure. And uh, and uh, also I did a, a film um, uh, with um, I, I said I saw Roma here and I went Roman Polanski came into my mind but I I didn't do a film with Roman Polanski it just came into my mind I don't know why maybe that'll happen in the future um, but uh, <laughs> oh my God this is happening okay. uh, <laughs> no I did a film with uh, with you and McGregor. Uh, called uh, I Love You, Philip Morris, where I play a, a true story of a gay con man in Texas who, um, who escapes from prison four times to come back disguised as a lawyer to get his life out of prison. And, uh, and uh, that's, that's a really out there, really funny, but really amazingly, you know, it, it kind of dares to be romantic, and it's kind of a beautiful movie, beautiful movie. So I'm, I'm excited about you seeing that one. And you and McGregor is a great kisser. <laughs> um, I also shot uh, two movies since Yes Man. Um, one is called Gigantic with Paul Dano and um, John Goodman. And um, also a film called uh, 500 Days of Summer. Um, with Joseph Gordon Lovett, and uh, I'm also writing more music and recording. Well, I've shot six movies since Yes Man. Um, I just finished Yes Man, and uh, I, uh, 
I never seem to know what movie I'm going to do next when I finish a movie. I, I, I sort of take a little time off and figure it out. So I think I'm going to say yes to a vacation next. And I think actually today I figured out where I might go on my vacation. Because we only have one day here to explore and it's just not enough. <laughs> Buongiorno. Allora, il vostro nuovo presidente eh, potete considerarlo uno yes man, cioè yes we can. Cosa gli suggerireste di, di prendere spunto del, dal film per superare le crisi che insomma qui andrà incontro saranno durissime, momenti durissimi. Uh, well, I would say since this movie is about engaging in life and, uh, all of the, and engaging with all of those around you, I would suggest that he engage in a, uh, in a, a better understanding and, and, uh, and a more inclusive relationship with the rest of the world uh, than we've had in the last eight years. You know? Oh, you, uh, oh, you want me to answer too? Okay. Um, I think that Barack Obama is amazing and that I have no advice to offer that man. I think he's just flying on his own. I think we should uh, take Yes Man to the White House and have a little uh, screening, yeah. maybe yeah. Okay. maybe the day after the inauguration we could do that. Yeah. So we'll see if Warner Brothers could set that up. You know, it's, it's, it's funny because when we did this movie a, a, a year and a half ago, you know, they hadn't started with that. They were still in the, you know, uh, change concept. And suddenly it was the, you know, yes we can. So I just immediately went, isn't that great? I mean, we're, we're right in, this, in the same mindset. I think, as I said, it's the collective consciousness, you know, the kind of, you know, every, every once in a while I'll like do a hairstyle or something or I'll, I'll wear clothes a certain way and I'll think, Wow, this is new. I don't think anybody's ever done this. And then I'll see 50 people on television doing it, you know? And I'll realize there is a collective consciousness and we all kind of go in the same direction together. Somebody ultimately gets credit for it, but it's, most of the time it's not the first one who thought of it. Yeah. <laughs> della tua vita, della, della tua carriera e visto che nel film ti vediamo guardare dei 300, dei buoni minuti di strumenti, cosa vedi te quando ti rilassi? Oh my! Uh, you know, I, I honestly, I watch uh, either really stupid reality shows <laughs> or, or I watch um, uh, highly intelligent documentaries. I mean, one or the other. It's like I, I'm, on, I'll, you know, I'm either drawn to think things that are very intriguing and intellectual or things that are absolutely mindless. There's no in between. Um, and uh, the mo most important thing I've ever said yes to, well, I was married twice. And so, you know, uh, those were very important, very important moments in my life. And, you know, every time I've said yes to love has been very important. And every time I've said no to love, it's been very important. <laughs> so, uh, you know, both of them were a yes and a no. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can nail it down to one extremely important thing. I said, I, I think there was a moment in my life where where I realized that I didn't have a hole inside me, you know, and where I, where I was whole, where I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't need to uh, fill it with something. And, uh, and uh, that was kind of saying yes to the understanding that, that, uh, that whatever it is that, that makes us,